My name is uh, Jay Maita. I am a distinguished professor of medicine and physiology and biophysics at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences in Little Rock, Arkansas. The topic of my presentation was PCSK9 expression in the ischemic heart and its relation to infoxys and cardiac function. As uh, you all know, the PCSK9 uh, regulates the expression of LDL receptors in the liver and uh, thereby it regulates cholesterol levels in the blood. Um, based on this concept, a number of uh, PCSK9 inhibitors have been developed to treat uh, high, hypercholesterolemia. And the studies have shown uh, that in long-term clinical evaluation of patients with myocardial ischemia, there was a significant reduction in cardiac events. When we look at the type of cardiac events that were reduced, it appears that it was mostly the myocardial infarction, fatal or non-fatal, non that were reduced. This led us to think that there may be some relationship between PCSK9 and myocardial infarction in particular. So we conducted a study in mice that were subjected to left coronary artery occlusion. And as you would expect, at one week there was significant infarct and the myocardial function deteriorated. But most importantly, and much to our surprise, we found that the ischemic myocardium, especially at the border zone between infarct and the normal area, there was intense expression of PCSK9. So to confirm the role of PCSK9 in determining infarct size, we used two different inhibitors of PCSK9 and both of them seem to decrease myocardial infarct size and preserve cardiac function significantly. To further confirm this phenomena, we used PCSK9 genetically knockout mice. And uh, these mice also, when subjected to left coronary artery occlusion, had smaller infarcts and preserved cardiac function. So based on these studies, we concluded that number one, the PCSK9 is expressed in the ischemic myocardium, and it is involved in regulating infarct size and cardiac function. So further to determine if this PCSK9 came from the heart or from the liver, which is the major source, uh, we determined and uh, we isolated neonatal mouse, mice cardiomyocytes and exposed them to hypoxia and inflammatory stimulus TNF-alpha. Both of them seem to induce the expression of PCSK9. So these latter observations strongly suggest that cardiomyocytes are a source of uh, PCSK9. This is a relatively new and actually the first discovery of PCSK9 being generated in response to hypoxia and inflammation in cardiomyocytes. Thank you. Now, can I ask a question about the yeah. Congress? You, you've come to these Congresses regularly. What brings you back year after year? <laughs> well, uh, Actually, it's a small Congress, and you get to meet your friends. And more importantly, I like to thank, I bring in many of my young individuals who get to present their papers, their work. Many of them are now on the faculty. But more importantly, the meetings being small, and lots of subjects are being reviewed by experts in their field. And it is a pleasure to sit there and listen to that in a small, cozy environment. Thank you very much. Okay.